Alright, hey guys, so I figured I'd get a video recorded before I head to bed. It's 11 p.m. right now. I gotta get up in the morning, but just wanna record a couple games. Jiro. Um, it's actually been a minute since I've played him. So I figured, you know, why not? I mean, I know you guys like the Jiro videos. So I figured, do another. Uh, nothing too serious, though. Just, get, you know, just hang out. Just talk to you guys. Uh, just let you know what's going on. Um, if you don't know, I'm back in school. Uh, started my second semester of my sophomore year at my college. And so far, that's going all right. I mean, the, some of the classes I'm in are... They're a bit... They're a bit, like... Not necessarily my cup of tea. Um, a lot of lab work, but it's whatever. Uh, uh, maybe Gimp? Same. This guy plays pretty aggressive. Open sand. Dang. But yeah, it's been it's been good going back. I mean, I'm driving. I have to drive like an hour to school back and forth uh, each way, and it's been. I mean, you know, it's not great, but uh, I still enjoy living at home. I mean, obviously, there's a bunch of perks to it. So it's been it's been good so far. Maybe at some point I'll move a little closer. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, who knows how it plays out. But how are you guys doing? Uh, I mean, I know you can't directly respond, but I hope, I hope you're all doing, you know, pretty good. I hope school, if it's if you're in it or if it's started back up for you, I hope it's going good. Um, yeah. Because that's, you know, that's probably one around. I remember around like BCX, I was like, I was kind of closing out my semester at school and I remember that getting pretty darn stressful pretty quick so I know if you you know school alongside just outside like extracurricular stuff going on is definitely it's always a little it, it doesn't help at all especially when you know you're you're expected to just do so much and it's like a lot of the times what you're doing, you know, you're not even necessarily like passionate about as far as classes go, um, which is part of it too. Uh, it's just kind of finding out what you enjoy and whatnot. This is at least what I've learned. But, all right. Another thing I want to talk about while I'm doing this is, uh, I guess my thoughts on the patch. Uh, oh. Yeah, I figured you might go for it again. Let's kill him. Then I'll continue. Yeah, my thoughts on the latest patch. They didn't touch Axe at all. And they gave Hammer two more frames of stun. And I made a video about Hammer. Which, you know, I think the reason for the Sare getting a little more stun. They did. Now they did nerf. Uh, they did nerf. Light, I think, by like two damage, which is honestly whatever. Like, it's still such an incredible move. Uh, I think what they're trying to do is make higher dex hammer legends and higher dex legends in general more appealing because that's a big complaint right now. That dex, like, doesn't really matter. So, that's just like, I, I mean, I'm not this, you know, isn't anything like confirmed. That's just my own thought. So, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Uh, I mean, what do you guys think of that? Again, that's another thing maybe you guys could uh, theorize with me. Because I'm curious to see what people think. You know, do, you, do you guys agree with me, or do you think it's for some other reason? Do you think they just decide to buff Hammer again for no reason, <laughs> to be quite honest? Um, uh, he's got a recovery. There we go. Uh, yeah, but Axe wasn't nerfed, which is kind of just... It's, Honestly, to me, it's pretty disappointing. I'm not a huge fan of the current meta. I think current meta is kind of... It, it's very big weapon focused, and that, to me, is lame. Um, I just... I'm not a big weapons player. Like, my best weapon out of the big weapons, big weapons I consider being uh, Axe, Hammer, Lance, is probably Axe. 
I I played Cassidy at Worlds, but Cassidy, uh, it's just I'm not a huge fan of her, even though she's super good right now. Um, just slow speed, and just like I said, hammer. Even though the sigs are super good, it's just it's hard for me to play. It's always hard to play something, no matter how good the character is. If you don't like it, I think you're better off just playing something you enjoy for sure. And uh, I think me and Remy both made the mistake at Worlds playing uh picks and twos that we, we we went too meta focused like we we were doing so well with hitori and uh koji um and we decided to just kind of we we gave into the meta too hard just what was good instead of playing what we enjoyed and uh what we were good at um remy he can play hammer but uh he didn't really put much time into like bodvar it was more about it was more about his thor Oh, do we got again? Yeah, we do. Nice. Uh, it was more about his Thor, and his orb was okay. Um, he ended up playing just Bodvar in top eight because uh, I don't, I don't think he really felt like he was doing much with. Because the thing is, he ha he didn't have any prior tournament tournament experience with Thor, so that was very, very hard. Even me, like I had, I played Cassidy in tournament before. Granted, it was like in 2017 with I throw, but that's you know that's better than nothing. And with capped, I played uh, a little bit of double bow var, so I knew, you know, I knew hammer a bit. Granted, Remy's Remy, Remy, Remy's way better at hammer than me. Jeez, I hit him under 100 damage. He's way better at hammer than me. But with that being said, uh, you know, I play blasters all the time and twos and he he also just it, it was mainly orb that it was just kind of hard to and the signatures um it's definitely a different setting in tournament for Three, sure two, but i mentioned uh at the moment how we were playing be in like autumns this guy wants to receive joints i mentioned in autumns nice uh that we were playing you know hattori koji and a lot of you guys, if you've kept up with me and what I played in, as far as characters go, I've played a fair amount of, well, I played Wu Shang until Gauntlets got nerfed, like hard, right? But more recently, Gauntlets got a decent buff. Nothing absurd. The best thing about it is the ground pound, which now makes the off stage feel a lot better like you can basically instant ground pound um some people and i saw sans in sandstorm's like latest video about gauntlets i saw him talk about how you can do like d like ground pound into a string it's like a two frame string and it's pretty good on edge guard uh now things off of nair like if you hit nair into like dare it's one frame instead of being like previously three i believe so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I talk, me and Remy have talked some. We've played. We started like practicing more again, uh, and we're you know we're playing Hattori. Uh, he's sticking to Bodvar, Koji. I'm playing hopefully mainly Wu Shang and then Hattori where I need to. But it's hard to tell still because this will be the first time I've played Wu Shang in like a really long time. So that was one thing from the patch that I was kind of expecting. I was expecting gauntlet buffs, and you know we got them. So I, I'm not I'm not too mad. They were they were good changes, but they weren't overbearing. D light got plus one stun. Uh, Nair got some stun. So yeah, it, it just makes a lot a lot of stuff more consistent. And uh, like before, you can hit max range D light. You can hit max range D light and like get oh geez he went he went all in uh you can get it true into recovery because they were so far away but now I, i'm pretty sure that's fixed um, with the latest the latest patch another change that they did they buffed they buffed sword recovery which is pretty interesting to me i definitely noticed it, it was only by two variable force but i mean that can make all the difference in the world uh so it's actually, you know, it's actually a pretty significant change. Oh, came with something? Almost. As far as, like, will I bring Jiro back into tournaments? 
Because I, I know that's probably a character, you know, this character is what I'm honestly best known for. I mean, I'm, I am like one of two people that play this character in tournament or have, I should say. Uh, I just don't think he's good. Like, he, Sword did get buffed. Scythe is unchanged. Um, biggest thing for me, though, is his stat spread. Like, low defense, not a huge fan of. Uh, high speed is nice. The high yeah. dex can work. But even... I'll even look past, like, his stats. His sigs are just atrocious to me. Um, I remember Sans... I think Sandstorm said... Because he... We talked a little bit about Jiro. Like, we sometimes talk about uh, just different things. And one, I remember one time Jiro was the topic. And he said he thinks, like, the side Three, sig's actually pretty one, good on Scythe, roll. which I don't disagree with. Um, I use I side sig a lot. Oh, we got the same guy. Um, here, get in. But yeah, Jiro's like... He's painfully mediocre. It's like they made a character that had the perfect matchup. Sword, which had combos that you could use to kill with. And then you had a string. It's like this character had the potential to be like the, the Scythe Sword Legend would have been better than like a Suri or Val easily, I think. But uh, they ended up d deciding to give signatures that were just far worse than you know, the latter, the Qatar Sword and Qatar Gauntlets. Speaking of which, I think that Val signatures are actually like, I'm, I'm surprised at how strong they are. Like, I think they're really, really potent actually. And I think a lot of people like look past it. There's not even that many people that are, I don't, I don't say not many people playing Val, but if it, there's definitely, at top level not that many so i feel like the outcry for val isn't as high i mean plus gauntlets you know they haven't been in the best spot so people are like whatever about them uh they're whatever about gauntlet legends in general but like wushong too spear got that s light like consistency buff so now you can have setups be uh, more consistent quite frankly and i mean if they buff gauntlets like anymore or spear, Wushong is like if people don't play Wushong, something's like wrong with them. Or like if gauntlet players don't look at Wushong at least, they are crazy. Cause he is a bonkers like pick. Oh that was sick. Like his signatures are insane in 2v2, at the very least in 2v2. And that's like one thing I really, really love about him and I missed so, so, so much. I'm looking forward though to the first tournament of the year. I think as far as like picks go, I'm probably gonna stay with Three, two, uh, one, a Suri, Val, and Lucian. I, I've stuck with those characters for a while now. A Suri is my like latest pickup. Um, I, t I talked earlier briefly about Jiro. There's only... My issue with him is, like... I don't say my issue. I feel like the time I beat Sandstorm... Wasn't... It wasn't a fluke, like, right? I, I did play well. But... I don't think it was... The, the, it wasn't the character that beat him. It was definitely just me playing uh, better. Now, obviously, you know, maybe I found some things on Scythe and, or on Sword that were just really really helping me but like I, I remember like d sig he just didn't know how to play around the sigs and i have a feeling now he's like a lot better at it so that is a big factor is that he's probably gotten way better at the matchup so like the one person i'd probably play this character into right now um has gotten probably like 10 times better at least at the matchup but you never know until you try so maybe you know if i'm if i'm desperate maybe i'll pull it out but i think for now like i just play a suri into him or i would play uh i'll play maybe val I, I don't think lucian it just depends what i like but 
But if a legend I'm feeling good on, like if I just played a set previously that I was doing really, really well with, uh, with save, say a Suri, um, then I'd probably stick with a Suri just cause it's like, well, I'd be stupid. Like why play a different legend? Like you're basically icing yourself in that case. Cause you're already warmed up feeling good on one legend, you know, got your confidence on that. But then it's like, oh, okay, let me play. Unless you know that that person's really, really, really bad into a certain weapon, there, you really should just stick with like what you're feeling good on. Rarely, like I said, rarely you're beating the person because of the character. It's just because you're playing better or they're playing worse, however you want to say it. So I think that's a big thing people get confused. And even me, um, the character picks such a small part of it, but it's just it's just about at the end of the day who plays better. Granted, and you know, obviously your peaks are going to be higher on certain characters. So finding that right character is can be like really really important and is really really important. But also just play what you have fun with. That's a, that's still the most important part. Because if you're not playing what you're not having fun on, then, you know, it's kind of like, what's the whole point of it? Um, you know, it's, you're going to be having a lot harder of a time, like, finding motivation to practice, for sure. And, like, just test things out. So, yeah, you just want to keep that in mind. But I'm going to call here, guys. It's been a 17-minute video. I enjoyed that. It was fun just to talk and chill out. I know you guys will enjoy the jeer, like I said. I'm going to tune out, so peace, everyone.